I, they said it's going to go faster, you know, so less wait times. Nice new trains, nice new tracks. That'll be great. We believe in the long run this will be worth it. So was it? Commuters who suffered through 30 days of the Orange Line shutdown hope to wake up to faster and better service. But a couple of weeks after the reopening and the reviews are mixed. WBZ's Christina Rex rode the Orange Line a few times before, during, and after the project to see if this disruption paid off. Hi everybody, it is Christina Rex with WBZ. Right now it is 4.30 on Tuesday, August 16th, Wednesday, September 28th. This Tuesday, October 4th, we are going to be riding the Orange Line. We're going to ride it from State Street all the way up to Oak Grove along the shuttle bus alternate route. The new reopened Orange Line. We're going to see how long it takes. Six weeks, six rides, three in each direction from Boston outbound. All to find out, was the Orange Line shutdown worth it? Three days until the Orange Line shuts down for a month. And we are on one of the older trains. Okay, we made it from State Street to Forest Hills this afternoon. Total time was 24 minutes and 44 seconds. Right now it's a little after 4 o'clock on Wednesday, August 17th. We did just have quite a bumpy ride over the bridge that overlooks the Mystic River. The same one where the orange line caught on fire last month. Okay, we made it to Oak Grove. Total time, 20 minutes, 29 seconds. The orange line has been shut down for about three weeks now. So I think I'm going to walk to Government Center. Found it. I see the sign. Are you going to Oak Grove? Oak Grove. Thank you so much. We're here at Oak Grove. An hour and two minutes. We are back at the State Street stop. The very last night of the shutdown. I am here. I'm supposed to walk to my nearest Green Line station, which is Government Center. Take the Green Line to Copley. Train part is over. All the buses lined up here, ready to take people. Thank you so much. We made it for sales. 58, 48, 16. Exciting news. We're back. Most slow zones have been eliminated. I think we're in one right now. We're going pretty slow. Here's one of those slow zones still in place more than two weeks after reopening. It's been okay. Lisa rides the train four days a week. Going 10 miles an hour the entire time was rough. I mean, I could have driven in faster. We made it to Oak Grove, 3502. Today is the last ride in our little orange line experiment. First time I've had to run for a train. Very busy today. It would be to just make them more efficient. Natalia rides the train to school every day. I feel like it's not as effective as they say it's going to be because it's still the wait times are still a lot. So it's like we have nicer trains, but it's like, are they faster? Not really. <laughs> 27 minutes. That is our final time from State Street to Forest Hills. Okay. Hi. I think it's time to check timing, right? Let's see how long it took. Were the trains faster? No. The new orange line was actually the same or took even longer. We're going to have to check in with the MBTA and just see what they have to say. Thank you for coming along on this journey. And we'll see what the orange line brings in the future. All right, we got her off the train. She's actually here in the studio <laughs> now. So what does the MBTA say about what you found? Okay, so the T says it did actually finish all of the work it had planned to do during the 30-day shutdown to get rid of those slow zones. But it's choosing to keep some of them in place to safely do some extra work overnight right now, and we have no idea when that's going to end. Hmm. And also, um, as far as the train wait times, because of a staffing shortage, the Orange Line is actually running at about 75% capacity right now and says it can't actually increase the number of trains it runs until it hires more people. All right, and when you finally did get on the train, it seemed a little slower, right? It did, and I can't say, you know, scientifically why that is, but one yeah. thing I noticed is that at a lot of the stations, it takes time for the doors to close. They close, they open, they close, they open. So we asked the T about that. We have the answer on our website. You can see that at cbsboston.com. And if we're trying to be fair, which we are, it's only been a couple of weeks, and hopefully... It'll get better. Hopefully it will. We're going to get you back out on the train another 10 or so times. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> Great reporting, Christina. That Thank was you. awesome. Over to you, Lisa. A great story.